Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about this new FlySky micro receiver I just received. It's called the FS82 and it's a bit confusing um, uh, on Banggood because they, they sell us under two different SKUs and they sell for two different prices but they're actually the same receiver. I ordered both of them and I've actually compared both of them to each other and they're, as far as I can tell, they're identical. Um, the one that's seven dollars and sixty two cents is uh supposed to be an aurora sixty eight spare part and supposedly there's no mention of the uh p p m um solder pad on that one it's just it's i bus only and then there's another skew of the f s eighty two where it has the p p m solder pad and in that product spec the uh p p m is actually mentioned in that one whereas it's not mentioned in the uh cheaper one so the one that that has PPM is like $8.88, I believe. I'm not sure if that was a mistake on their part or if they're actually two different SKUs, but I ordered both of them and as you can see here, they look the same. I, I couldn't tell any difference between the two. It's possible that, that they sent me the one with the, um, uh, the PPM instead for whatever reason. Uh, it's po and it's possible that the other one is different, but as far as I, I can tell, they're not. They're, they're the same. So I'll put the links to both of them in the description. If you have no need for PPM, obviously, just go with the cheaper one. I obviously have no need for PPM, so I'm not going to be using that. Um, it also mentions that uh, only uh, failsafe is supported on the IBUS connection and not on PPM. So um, that's something else to keep in mind. And the most important thing that I uh, just uh, failed to mention is early, earlier in this video is that uh, this new receiver is uh, two-way capable, so you can bind this with your Turnigy Evolution, just like the uh, Flysky FSA8S receiver. That's this one here, and uh, this one, the uh, FSA8S, does both um, IBUS, SBUS, and PPM. Although only failsafe is supported on the IBUS and SBUS connection, I cannot get um, failsafe to work on the PPM connection. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, another difference here between these two is that the, um, the FS-A8S has a four pin connector and uh, the FS-82 here has a three pin connector. So you just get IBUS, five volts and ground. Uh, it does come with a uh, micro connector, a three pin micro connector to servo connector here. And it's included in the package if you need it, but they're just plastic wires, nothing fancy about this. And of course, the other big difference is that the uh, micro antenna here is just soldered directly onto the board, whereas on the FS8S, they have a little micro FL connector. So if you happen to chop up your antenna, you can always get a replacement and put a new one on here if you need to. Um, in terms of size, pretty close in size, very hard to tell. Uh, in terms of the size difference, they're almost identical. In terms of width and length, let's see right there. There's a little bit of difference in the weight. Um, has to do with the fact that there's heat shrink on the FSA8S and there's a longer antenna on here. So let's go ahead and I'll just show you what the difference amounts to. I think this one here, the FS82 just by itself is about a gram, just a little over a gram. And then the uh, FS. AAS is about 1.6, almost 1.7 grams. So you do save a little bit of weight on this. So obviously there's an advantage to using this is that you get a, a shorter antenna and less weight. So it'll, it, you should really only use this in like the really small indoor micros like the Aurora 68, which is um, what this is actually came from. And maybe like, uh, for example, those tiny whoops that I built earlier on my channel, uh, I might actually replace the flat sky receiver um, with the, uh, longer antenna with a shorter one because I don't need the extra weight I actually and even though it's only about half of a gram a half of a gram on a tiny whip makes a big difference so I'm actually probably going to replace those with with these and use these instead. Now the other thing that people are concerned about is the range of the smaller antenna. Uh, you should probably keep in mind you want to keep this antenna um, you know somewhat exposed so that it's, there's nothing blocking the signal but I'll go ahead and I'll run a little uh, field test here as to how far I can go. I'm thinking if I can go 100 meters of this, that's probably adequate enough for my purposes. And if you want to go further, I would say get get this receiver instead of the Flysky FS888S. Um, I know that I've gone uh, at least 300 meters with this receiver, 
with uh, good antenna placement. And then the last question people have, uh, I'm sure they're going to ask about, is failsafe. And I know for sure that the failsafe on iBus works for this receiver because I've tested it on the Aurora 68. That definitely works. Um, and 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 in the, in, the, in the product page it says that PPM failsafe does not work. And actually, I've tested the PPM on the other FlySky receiver and I wasn't able to get that to work. For, so for whatever reason, failsafe doesn't work under PPM. But I'm never going to use that for this receiver, so for me it doesn't matter. Anyway guys, I'll put links to both of these receivers as well as the other FlySky receiver in the description if you want to check it out. I would just get the, uh, if you're just going to use iBus, I would just get the, the one that's $7.62. Uh, that's probably the one you want to get. And then obviously you want to use this in the smaller sub-100 micros, um, brushed or brushless. That's what I would recommend and mostly for indoor flight or very close proximity flight. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. So I'm going to do a quick range test on the uh, this new micro receiver, the FS82. Uh, it's installed here on the Aurora 68. And I'm going to go all the way to the end of the park over there by those three palm trees. It's about 100 meters away. Uh, it's about as far as I expect this to go. If I get, uh, I don't think it'll go any further than that, but if I can get that far, I think that'll be good, good enough for this micro receiver. So go ahead and, and I'll show you the flight footage now. Thank you.